everyone, welcome back to another edition of Virtual DJ Tips. Today we're going to look at something that is was kind of wanted and kind of needed. And uh, in the past, you would have to go find a skin for a specific button that you needed. Um, and it may have not been up to your standards, uh, but you really wanted that button. In Virtual DJ 8, we have something called Custom Buttons. Now what custom buttons are going to allow you to do is they're going to allow you to make a button into anything that you want it to be. If you know Virtual DJ Script, you don't even have to know Virtual DJ Script actually. I'm going to show you how simple this is, how easy it is to use, and you can customize it. Jump into the decks. You have these four blank buttons and a dial. Uh, it's available on both sides. They do not affect each other. If you right click you will see that it is blank. You can start typing whatever you like. So for instance, uh, some people wanted a auto mix. So I remember it was uh, recalled that uh, some users wanted it on their keyboard or on their controller. And they didn't want to go into the auto mix panel. So here you can just type in auto, look, it comes up automatically. And then just name your button. In this case, I'll just name it auto and we close it and sure enough auto shows up in the custom button so if I press it it should go in and out of auto mix mode so if we press auto you can see the second waveform shows up so it is in auto mix mode if I click it again it turns auto mix off nice thing about these custom buttons is that I can right click on this custom button again I can see that it is auto mix, or I can go down to the button name, I can hit the little plus button, and it comes up with question marks. Maybe I want to trigger sandbox mode off of a custom button, even though it's at the top of the skin. So we call that sandbox. It automatically fills in the field at the bottom for you, so you now you have sandbox. Click out of it, you can go back here, and it's now sandbox mode. But if you right click on it again, you can go back to your auto mix mode that you already created. So just to give you a little more idea, if we go back into edit mode and we click the plus button again, and we use another simple script like sync, and it automatically fills in the button name again, and we close it. You can see it's now sync and if we right click on it you've now got three custom buttons that you can choose from in a single custom button that's a very very cool feature and you can do that with four different buttons on each deck now if you right click on the custom dial you have the same option so for instance uh, karaoke uh, jocks would like maybe something like a key change so we can type key in there. I'll just name it key. Close out. We press play on our deck. And adjust the key dial. And it's changing the key of the track without adjusting the tempo. Very, very, very cool feature. And once again, you can make that knob as many different uh, configurations as you need be just by simply right clicking on it selecting the plus button in this case I'm not going to have anything in there it's just uh, three question marks just close out of it if we right click on it we have the option to switch from uh, the question marks we don't know what that is yet or back to key now you could use that dial for uh, an effect parameter for example to shift your loops around uh, move your loop forward or backward a beat um, the possibilities are endless the scripting is all there just go back in and show you if we start typing anything you can see all your options of categories so if for example if I typed in audio it would give me some options if you knew a complex script that you were after you could obviously type that in there as well so with custom buttons, it really gives you the ability to customize the skin, give you a little more freedom, 
don't have to download any special skin to get that button that you want anymore. I hope this gives you guys a little bit of clarity on what custom buttons are, what they do, and what the possibilities are. If you have any questions or comments, please leave them below. If you haven't subscribed already, please do that as well. Until next time, keep your head in the mix.